Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to talk about PenPot. So it's another, you know, design and prototyping tool. But what's special about this is it's completely open source, which means it's totally free for anyone to use it. So that's really special about this. But I know a couple of other, you know, uh, open source uh, prototyping tools, but none of them have features even close to this. So that's going to make this really special and a real competitor in this market. So as this says, it has this cross domain uh, collaboration feature. Then it has this SVG standard, which is something we're going to talk about more. And uh, then as you can see, it's multi-platform and open source and all that stuff. So it's really interesting to see just an alpha version of an open source tool to have uh, all these awesome features like components and all that stuff. So I thought, why not I just install it along with you guys and give my first impressions on it. So without any further ado, as the button says here, let's get started. So you can just sign up with your email credentials or just go with Google. So I'll just log in with Google here. And this is the intro screen that you can see here. It has this welcome and it says it's the alpha version. So let's just continue. And you can actually contribute if you're a developer, just go to GitHub and add new features there. Then these are the you know key features like components. That's really good. And then you have this interactions for prototyping. So let's go ahead. You have feedback to add comments and all. That is a really useful feature. And finally, it's uh, available in SVG and HTML format to export, which is really good along with CSS. So these are some uh, key highlight features. Then you can actually create a team. So if you are uh, as a team, you can just go with this option. But I'm going to just start right away with this one. So here is the interface and it, it kind of looks pretty similar to Figma and all that stuff. So here you can see all your files. So right here we have two sample projects, which is uh, uh, nothing but a design system and a UI walkthrough. So let's try one of those and uh, basically try to understand the layout and all stuff. So as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the Figma layout itself. And here you have these uh, couple of tools and here you have your layer and all that stuff. And on the right, you have the properties and all. If I click here, you can see this all pretty much looks like a Figma layout itself. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. And you can zoom in, zoom out navigate through the canvas and the best part here is it's completely in dark mode because i have my uh, system set to dark mode maybe because of that and along with that you can also change the canvas color so that way you ha completely have a you know dark mode kind of a layout here so that is really cool about this and then you can go through different pages here so i have my styles i have my assets here so those are the different assets and uh, you have your buttons so all these are basically you know components if you can see, yeah, these are components and this is the symbol which uh, denotes those components probably. And you have all your properties on your right. So it all looks pretty much similar uh, to any design tool that is trending nowadays. So, you know, let's uh, try to create a new project and see how everything goes. So here I start a new project. So this is a new project and in a new project I can name it and then I can start a new file inside it. So that is a new file which I just created. So let's try to create some basic design and see how this is gonna look. So now let's, uh, you know, basically try to check the component feature. So I just uh, select all these and you have an option here to create component. So that is it. Uh, a component is created and that is why you have this uh, particular symbol here and it just turned into a blue color. There you go. I can just uh, use the alt key and duplicate these as many times as I want. Now let's try to edit it and see how this behaves. Change this to a red color. So that didn't affect any of the other things. So to get that effect, probably I need to go to this option here, update master component. So yeah, once I click on that, all the component created with it gets updated. So that is how you update and uh, create components on this. So you have uh, this pencil tool here, which allows you to, you know, just create uh, pencil strokes. And you also have the path tool. Yeah, we covered a lot of it. And then you have this comments feature, which is also pretty good, I feel. So I can click anywhere. There you go, the comment is added. So on different elements, I can, you know, just click on the element here and say post and all that gets added here. 
and then this one is your layers panel and then you have the assets so this is really good you can categorize all your assets into components this is the one that we just created then you have colors so i can just add in here and add any colors or styles so all that gets added up here and at the bottom you have this thing called as color palette so all the color styles that you add can be shown here so this can be quickly accessed and used on the project this is really cool actually so you have a history of all what you have done so to create this screen basically these are the different actions that I've started with so the first one being the rectangle so a history is very well maintained here so let's quickly see what is available in the prototype mode so I go to prototype uh, on click of this card here I want to navigate to this artboard and I don't see any animations or anything so I believe this is just a very basic prototyping as of now so let's see how this is going to behave so I click on this and then I have the view mode here and on click on this it just you know just snaps onto the another screen which is just a very basic prototyping so there's no animations and all as far as I've seen here but uh, being the version 1 or the alpha version this is pretty much an amazing tool I must say so we can expect a lot of more uh, additions to this and then you have this comment mode so I added a couple of comments here those can be seen here so that is good and then this amazing feature of inspect through which you can inspect everything and also the best part is uh, you get the code for in in terms of SVG or HTML completely for whatever you create on this platform so that is a complete overview and I'm really amazed at the features that they're providing in an open source tool here so I'm sure we're gonna expect a lot more features so make sure you have a check on this tool so that's it for this video guys i hope you found it informative and helpful thanks for watching